Hi, I'm Jay Swinger, your flight instructor for today. We'll be running through the full lesson plan, but if you're already familiar with some of the basics, you can talk to me about skipping ahead. Before we begin, I need to perform a few routine physical tests. Regulations, you know. Please move your head as far up or down as you can. Okay, now please walk a few steps. Okay, now do a few jumping jacks, please. Finally, a few squats, please. You seem to be in good physical shape, so we can move on to your flying lessons. Let me know how you want to proceed. Yes? We'll start by using the transporter room outside to go to the docking bay. Quasar, Vanguard. You are cleared for undocking. Proceed. Use the steering controls to turn your ship. strafing controls to move sideways or vertically. Okay, before we continue, make sure there's no obstacle right in front of you. I can't check from here, so I have to trust you on this one. When you clear, gently accelerate forwards. There's usually a speed limit inside docking areas, but you don't have to worry about exceeding it. The ship's computer will limit the speed for you. You can also fly backwards. Try this now. Your ship sensors are all well and good, but sometimes it can be useful to get a more direct look at things. First, look around your cockpit. There are many different kinds, but ship cockpits often provide a wide field of view outside the ship. You can also look at your ship from the outside with the magic of camera drones. Try it. Fly around a bit to get a feel for how it behaves. also cycle into a different external camera mode. Try the camera controls now. Now 
This also works on targets within range. For now, return to the normal cockpit view to move on. You can even tell a camera drone to stay in a fixed location. Try this now. to see what's in front of you with fewer obstructions. You can even make the cockpit practically invisible to you. Is there anything camera drones can't do? Try it now. So, let's practice what you've learned so far. I've prepared a little course for you. Please fly close to each of the navigation beacons in turn. The next target will always be marked in orange. The ship also has a boost function. Don't worry, you're not being timed. This next thing is something you are going to be using a lot. I've marked a remote location for you to fly to. Don't worry, I don't expect you to crawl there at your base speed. First, please align your ship so it points roughly towards the target. Now, activate travel mode. Depending on your engine type, it may take a little time to get started. Look at your speed bar just below the crosshairs. You will keep accelerating for a while until you reach your ship's top travel speed. You've probably noticed other modes in the list when you activated this one. Each mode has its special use and only one mode can be active at a time. gathered some speed, you'll notice that steering has become much harder. This is why it's best to point your ship towards your destination before engaging travel mode. Now, turn off the mode the same way you turned it on. You are now coasting, which means a few things. First, your ship is decelerating much more slowly than it normally would. Second, steering is easy again. Give it a try now. Third, probably notice that your ship keeps flying in the same direction. You can come to a stop much more quickly by actively decelerating. This automatically re-engages the safety limits on steering. Try it now. As for the travel duration, any strafe movement will revert that to the behavior you're used to. You can also drop out of travel mode more quickly, skipping the coasting phase. Let's try this now. Please reactivate travel mode. Now wait until you build up some speed. Whenever you're ready, quickly drop out of travel mode. take place some distance from here, so let's take a break and let the autopilot do the hard work for now. The autopilot automatically navigates to the current objective. It engages travel when 
appropriate and makes use of gates, accelerators and highways. It even avoids obstacles in the way. Uh, well, mostly, which is why you still need to be in the controls. You may notice that it sometimes turns travel mode off when everything seems wide open to you. The safeties are on a bit of a hair trigger, probably to keep insurance rates from skyrocketing. While we wait, let's check out your logbook. There are several menus you can access this way. Open the one that's highlighted now. Autopilot disengaged. Access to details about your current status and statistics. The logbook is highlighted. Open it now. As you can see, there are several categories. You can select one to filter the entries or look at all of them at once. Most of the tips you've seen up until now have been added to the logbook. You can always go back and reread them if you feel like you've missed or forgotten something. Take your time looking around these menus. Close them when you're ready to move on. If you're getting bored, you can disable the autopilot at any time and fly the rest of the way yourself. Good, you've arrived. There's a ship next to you. Its color on your HUD indicates that it's not hostile. Please select it as your target. Cards. Match speed with your target. Autopilot disengaged. By the way, matching speed is even possible when both you and your target are in travel mode. I've now activated your primary weapon. The small dots that have just appeared indicate where the weapons are currently aiming. They will automatically track your current target as long as it's close enough. There are a handful of targets in front of you. Their HUD color indicates that they are enemies. Note that the HUD markers of some targets are smaller. These targets are currently outside your weapon range. Select the closest enemy target. 
new HUD element has appeared right in the center of the target. This is the aim ahead indicator. It shows you where you need to aim, which is especially useful if the target is moving. Slowly cycle through all the targets. Asteroid. When a target outside your weapon range has been selected, you can see the weapon indicators becoming darker. The aim ahead indicator also changes its appearance. Select the closest enemy target again and shoot at it until it's destroyed. Cargo drone, cargo drone, cargo drone, cargo drone. Cargo drone, 